highly attractive women over on TikTok love to tell themselves that pretty privilege is a thing. It does not exist. You might get free drinks from a guy, get free entry into a VIP area, have people treat you better. People want to be your friend. Guys absolutely drool all over you. But no, pretty privilege is made up by the uglies, am I right? You totally don't get more of a significant amount of opportunities just solely based on your looks. I don't know why I think pretty girl privilege is one of the dumbest things to ever exist. Let's list the privileges. Free drinks, probably free entry somewhere, maybe end up in a VIP section, maybe attract like a rich guy, an athlete, a rapper. That's pretty much the privileges. I'm concerned for whoever thinks those are such glamorous privileges women have a high chance of getting kidnapped in the moment that they leave their house as a matter of fact they don't even need to leave their house so if you're a little bit more attractive you might get more eyeballs and increase your chances of getting kidnapped pretty girls are never taken serious at their job at anything that has to do with being well educated by default they think that they're not capable of understanding i'm concerned that people think that these are such glamorous privileges yes highly attractive lady over on TikTok who has thousands of followers. I'm pretty sure all of those qualities are so much better than somebody treating you lesser than just because you are not conventionally attractive or are the beauty standard. Did you know that kidnappers literally go for anyone? Children, boys, Girls, men, women, people, the fatties, the skinnies, blonde hair people, redhead people, brown haired people. Kidnappers certainly do not care about what you look like because their mind is so sick and twisted that they're kidnapping someone in the first place because they don't care if you look like Bella Hadid. Cat calling and men being creepy to you out in public just because you are attractive can be increased. Sure, I will agree that attractive women in high power jobs or jobs in general won't be taken as seriously just because they are hot. But that is only perpetuated by certain men at certain jobs who think with their meat sticks. Nobody is saying that pretty people don't go through traumatic things and don't have negative experiences due to the fact that they're attractive. A pretty girl privilege. This is my experience. Boo schmoo. This is what it is. But everybody wants to talk about how we always get a slap on the wrist and we always get things our way and everything's so easy for us. Nobody wants to talk about the hardcore stalking. Nobody wants to talk about the blackmail and harassment. And nobody wants to talk about the fact that we get treated different by other girls, let alone our own friends. I so I wanted to respond to this girl. Um, first, I want to say I hear you. I understand what you're saying. But what I think you're doing is clumping together side effects of being pretty with pretty privilege. We need to reserve a certain place for the benefits that you receive for being a pretty person. And that's what pretty privilege is. That doesn't mean that you don't face other struggles and other things for being pretty. But specifically, pretty privilege is talking about the benefits that you receive for being pretty. But there is a real thing here with pretty privilege. I feel some people with pretty privilege will never understand what it's like to be seen as unattractive by society who doesn't have pretty privilege, which is fine. It goes back to relatively and I'm not wishing that upon you. I just want you to understand that the things you listed as small are like things some of us will never experience. Forget that. I can't even grasp experiencing things like that. And when I speak to pretty privilege, I'm speaking to people being treated decently and not being looked upon simply based on how they look. Like just to be treated as a basic human being rather than being seen as less than. Take someone like Charlie D'Amelio, for example, the most famous sought after TikToker. Yeah, she might be great at dancing, but she is also attractive. Do you think if somebody in her position did not have the looks that she has, would be in the same position? Because a large percentage of the top influencers and content creators globally are really goddamn attractive. That in of itself says a lot about pretty privilege. Taking ugly girls places is impossible to do so if you're attractive apparently. Apparently. People are probably gonna get mad at me for saying this, but pretty girls hang out with pretty girls because you can't take ugly girls places. It's a hard truth, but it's a thing. And if you're considered beautiful by society standards, you are gonna get more opportunities to do things that are outside of the ordinary. This video is not to bash anyone. It's just, it is what it is. It may not be fair, but it's the truth. 
Pretty people who only surround themselves with people of their caliber tend to be pretty darn shallow. Why say they're shallow? Because appearance is all that matters to them. The status and the attention is what they value the most. This isn't exclusive to only pretty girls though. This is more of a superficial thing. Here is where it comes to the dark side of pretty privilege. Pretty privilege might be a thing, but you know what else is a thing? People treating you like you're stupid and women literally being the biggest bitches just because of the way you look. Everything in this world is around duality. If you start to get more love, you also start to get more hate. So if you're getting more privilege, know that you're also going to get the other side. That's literally just the way that it works. So don't ever think, oh, it's not fair. She gets pretty privileged. She's also getting a ton of hate, misjudged, you name it. Tell me in the comments if you get that too. People can't seem to grasp that, yes, there are going to be negative experiences that you experience just because you are attractive. And yes, you are going to be treated better by society just because you're attractive. These things can be very true, of course. Pretty people tend to be treated by certain members of society as stupid because apparently if you're attractive, you're not educated which can be a hard thing to navigate if you're in a career or a field where you really, really want to be in, but you can't because there are, you know, factors that play in such as men who only think with their meat sticks, who think that you're stupid just because you're hot, because apparently hot equals stupid. Or you have women in charge who discriminate against you because, you know, she may be jealous of you. That can be a very real thing too, okay? I'm, I'm not trying to say that that shit doesn't doesn't happen. Certain members of society treat attractive people as if they are mean, as if they are cocky, as if they are highly stuck up and just so full of themselves that they eat themselves for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Confidence can be and is a very foreign topic for a percentage of society, you see, because confidence does not come naturally to everybody, especially if you are somebody who thinks that they aren't enough or that they are ugly or that they are this, that they are that. And while beauty is very much subjective, objectively speaking, society sees the beauty standard as what you need to strive for. And so the thought process comes from just that, low self-esteem and low confidence, because I myself don't care if you are way hotter than me. If you are Kylie Jenner or Bella Hadid and you're just the most beautiful person in the world, what matters and what counts is your heart. That is what I care about. I don't care how cliche or corny that sounds because in this context I don't judge people off of how they look and a lot of people don't judge other people for how they look mainly because we have somewhat of a confidence in ourselves where we can see hey it wouldn't be nice if other people thought this kind of shit about me just based off of how I present or how I look or how I was born. But in the same breath, what I will say is that there are also a percentage of attractive people who are very egotistical because of their experience as an attractive person throughout life. They think their shit don't stink, their farts don't puff, and that they're better than everybody just based off of how they look externally. That is a very real thing too. That is exactly why I think this topic has a lot more nuance than what people are saying. There are always multiple different perspectives and there isn't a right or wrong opinion, especially about this topic. What happens is when you don't have the privilege and you have less of a chance of a guy at a bar buying you a drink or having people come up to you and start a conversation and compliment you on your looks or the person you really, really like likes another person because they're way more attractive than you, it can be a distressing thing to go through. I've been seeing many people, especially, you know, a percentage of attractive people come up with this thing that pretty privilege is a term made up by insecure people, by people who have a victim complex. And I don't really think that's true because this is a thing that has been around since the dawn of time when beauty standards really started being pushed onto society, more so women. And so what people have to understand is 
is that there is nothing wrong with having privilege. Of course, if you're to use it in the most darndest ways, yeah, what? But also, you should be happy that you're attractive. There isn't a victim complex that surrounds this topic. I think it's more so the fact that, hey, we can talk about shit. We can have an opinion on something. Movies have constantly perpetuated the ugly girl, hot girl trope where they come together as best friends and the ugly girl is left behind and the ugly girl is the third wheel and the ugly girl is so jealous and admires the hot girl and the hot girl gets every hot guy. It's exhausting and I can see why it can be exhausting for some people. That's fine to talk about. And I really wanna reiterate once again and nobody, and including myself, I'm not trying to take away from the negative experiences that you would have as an attractive person. And there are, of course, going to be a lot of stereotypes uh, attached to attractive people. I 100% get that. It's just saying that ugly people created this term is so wild to me because it's like, yeah, people are going to have very, very different contrasting experiences to each other from unconventionally attractive to attractive. And that is all I wanted to talk about today, my lovelies. If you have anything that you would like to add on, I would absolutely love to know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. You are all pretty to me. I don't give a shit. And so that being said, take care of yourselves. And most importantly, love your fucking selves.